games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the sand train? Choo choo. Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Welcome Hi. to something very special. Oh my god, are we really doing this? This is the Hitchhiker's Guides of the Galaxy text adventure All from text. 1984 by Infocom. Woo! Woo! I have yeah. no idea what I'm getting into. Oh right my god, now. Guys. bro! Have you even done a text adventure before, Ross? I have actually. I played one in grade eight. Well, congratulations! Wow. That's We're eighth grade for circle. you, American listeners. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, uh, this game, guys, I grew up playing this game when it came out. I'm an enormous Hitchhikers fan. I love Hitchhikers. I love all the books. I love this game. Mm -hmm. I love I love you, Ross. Oh. I love you too, Barry. Oh, thanks, Brian. This was my idea. Thank you. I just, yes, it was. This was all Barry's I wasn't idea. alive when this came out. No, I know you were. I know, but I'm a huge Hitchhikers fan. Love the books. Yeah, me all too. All five in the trilogy. And um, I saw the movie once. The movie's pretty good too. Which, which movie, Ross? Uh, the one what? with the, there's a TV series. Yeah, yeah. The one like, where Snape like was the robot. TV. Yeah. What? Ugh. You say Snake or Snape? Snape. Yeah, Alan Rickman. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I have a pretty good idea of what to do. Brian played this game 30 years ago. Yep. So he basically has a perfect memory of what to do. Yep. Ross has no idea what's going on. So Ross is going to be in charge, and well, I'm going to be mean, typing I, out what he says. I, I have like, I, I mean, have, I do I, like. Oh, Barry, you're not going to pull that move, are you? <laughs> no. Okay, so stop I, copying. I, I, say, I remember the movie. I actually watched it again recently. It's, so it's the main basic story in every version. Every version of Hitchhiker is a little bit different. Okay. Yeah. So, but they all have the main story beats of you play. It, it's Arthur Dent on Earth. Earth's about to get destroyed by the Vogons. Whoa, whoa! Spoiler Sorry. alert! Spoiler alert, and Barry! And you have to figure it out. Okay. Anyway. Uh, have, so, you guys, have you guys heard the radio series? The I have not. That's radio. the one version. Oh my god, it's okay. so good. Okay, so why don't you re re open just, your eyes? Ryan. Okay, I will be. Hold on, Ross. Oh. Wait. <laughs> the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, <laughs> Infocom Interactive Fiction. A this science is when it's the audiobook and so you have that little light piano. Like, doo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doo, 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 but since you interrupted doo, doo, doo. me, I have to Sorry. start over. I'll just do the piano. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Gap. Barry. If, if they want the piano, music. Kevin can do the piano. The oh, I'm going to do it. God. Oh, I swear to God. Do, do, the Hitchhiker's do, do, Guide to the Galaxy. Do, 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 do. Infocom Interactive do, 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 Fiction. Do, 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 do. A science fiction story. Do, 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 Copyright 1984 by Infocom Incorporated. All rights reserved. Release 59 slash serial number 851108. You wake up. The room is spinning very gently around your head. Or at least it would be if you could see it, which you can't. It is pitch black. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. They are. They are. Oh, okay. Oh, Ross. Oh, all right. Ooh. They uh, thought of that, didn't they? Um, turn on light. Oh! Boom. First puzzle solved. Okay. Well done, Ross. Good right. start to the day. Shut up while I read this. Pity it's going to be the worst one of your life. The light is now on. Location. Bedroom. In the bed. The bedroom is a mess. It is a small bedroom with a faded carpet and old wallpaper. There's a wash basin, a chair with a tatty dressing gown slung over it, and a window with the curtains drawn. Near the exit leading south is a phone. <gasps> there is a flathead screwdriver here outside, outside the, the bed, bed, and there's a toothbrush here outside, outside the bed. Okay, well, I definitely need the, uh, the dressing gown. Uh, I'm definitely going to say you need the screwdriver and... Well, it's an adventure game, and the logic is always take everything. So let's try to take. Hey, well, all. well, hold on. Before no. we start, though, there, there's an important piece of terminology that I feel like some of our uh, viewers might not be familiar with. What? Ross, do you care to uh, tell people what a dressing gown is, since Americans call it something else? Oh, what do you guys call it? Again? What do you tell people what it is, and then we'll <laughs> it's, it's see that if you thing can on guess the, chair. the word. Yeah, but what do you call it? A like, well, gown. what? <laughs> I don't know what I got, forgot it's, a a it's a bathrobe. It's a bathrobe. It's a fucking bathrobe. It's a dressing gown. No, it's a it's worth mentioning that obviously we aren't playing the original 84 version. This is a BBC remake for the 30th anniversary of the game. Yep, you can get this on so the BBC So there are some website. visuals. There's a little thing in the corner there. You can see we have our inventory. Let's check our inventory. Let's huh? check our inventory. Let's check inventory. Our inventory. I for short. That's right, Barry. We have... A splitting headache and, and no tea. Oh, That's not no very tea. British of us. So that little dot outline tea cup is us having no tea. That's right. Okay. okay well, so what should we do, Ross? How uh, come there's no picture for the headache? Um, I guess I don't. It's an eternal it's... problem, not an exterior problem. Oh That's wow, true. Ross! Mm -hmm. Look at that. Bringing the truth. All right. Can can I just take all? Take all. Telephone. You can't reach it from the bed. The effort almost kills you. Etc. Same thing for all. This. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess get out of bed. Let's try get up. Boom! Very difficult, but you manage it. Okay, The cool. room is to wait until I am done <laughs> reading, and I'm not going to repeat myself on that. Actually, I'm gonna, probably going to repeat myself. Probably many times. times. I'm sorry. Uh, the... are, you, <laughs> are you done? Are you ready to listen? Just read the fucking text, man! The room is still spinning. It dips and sways a little. So you're standing. All right, do you want to try to take all again? 
Uh, because now we're standing. Pick nose. Pick nose. I don't know the word nose. Hmm. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah. Well, it's meant to be like pick up. Try something. smell. Smell. What do you what want to smell? Berry. What uh, do you want? I'm to not smell? in the game. Uh, I would like to smell the dressing gown. Smell a gown. It's it just, just like your gown. Okay. <laughs> Who's I'm reading? Sorry. I'm sorry. Do you, do you want to read the game's responses and I'll read like the location? Sure. You stuff? can take How the long that? text. Yeah. You can cool, take the cool, long. Cool, cool, cool. We'll just uh, we'll feel. Wait, it guys, out, we're man. feeling this out as we go here. As far as I know, no one's really done a text adventure let's play. And I when think I we're about to find out why. If there has been one, please send it my way. But yeah, we're gonna find yeah, out yeah. why. Okay. Uh, I would like to try take all now. Take. Oop. Tack all. Tack all. Oh, telephone. You lunge for it, but the room spins nauseatingly away. The floor gives you a light tap on the forehead. So you just ate shit. We're going for the phone. Okay. Uh, flathead screwdriver. It dances by you like a thing possessed. Toothbrush. It slips through your fumbling fingers and hits the carpet with a nerve-shattering bang. Oh. Your gown. Luckily, this is large enough for you to get a hold of. You notice something in the pocket. Ooh. Um, what could it be, Ross? Look in pocket. Look in pocket. So I, I I feel it I feel compelled to point out that in the original Infocom text I believe you would have just said look pocket it only added prepositions kind of later on most of the original Infocom games were like two words mm, look right. pocket well actually I think this game did have that because when it, you they just, added it at some if you point. just type yeah. look it says add a preposition oh never mind oh very wow shockingly well, wrong when I said it, when I when I was testing this before it was I said like look pocket and it was like give us a look at pocket That's yeah at some point it, so interesting I, this actually <laughs> might have been after they changed the, sure. the syntax so but it's, it's hard. I, I am in the middle of a history lesson I'm right sorry. now uh, in the original Infocom, Infocom games like Zork etc mm -hmm. which I also fucking love Zork is fucking hard every Infocom game uh, I was a huge fan of and remain uh, as this a game has a lot of bullshit in it Zork is actually really hard yeah Zork is very hard I want to play Enchanter with you guys Ooh. at some point, if this Damn. goes well, which it almost certainly won't. It will not. So anyway. that's not going to happen. Okay, so the pocket is hard to open or close unless you're wearing the gown, Ross. What could the solution possibly Where? be? We even left the first room of the game. Come on. Wear the gown. Wear gown. You're not wearing your gown. Good job. And okay. we have a gown. Check pocket. Check pocket. I don't know the word check. Oh, no. uh, look in pocket. Look in pocket. Opening your gown reveals a thing your aunt gave you, which you don't know what it is, a buffered analgesic. Analgesic. Analgesic, thank you, and pocket fluff. Another British word. Ro yeah. Do you know what an analgesic is, guys? I do because of this game, but I don't know how to say it. Ross? I don't remember. It's a pain reliever. It's like a Tylenol. Oh, uh, I, I... Whoa, did I just buzz mark a Tylenol? Oh, Oh, damn. no. Yo, we is have, that okay? We have, we have Panadol. Do you know what that is? Okay, so I we know, have... Hold on, hold on. Shut up there. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know what Panadol is. It's the same thing, but it's the Australian one, I think. Oh, we had, uh, like, uh, uh, Calpol for kids, know. or, uh, Nurofen in England. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know Nurofen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barry, you don't like this discussion of international uh, no, pain don't. relievers? Uh, Guys, uh, please tweet at us, at Game Grumps, what the pain relievers are in your country of origin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, Ross, so, mm -hmm. we still have that headache, but now we have a pill that cures pain. What? Uh, you, um, and it's buffered. And it's buffered, which is something. That's good. Okay. Fill mouth with water. Fill mouth Jesus, with Ross, really? water. Don't, don't know care. the word mouth. Uh, there's no water in the fucking you room. Could just yes, there drink. is. There's a fucking faucet right there. Don't, say, don't you take that picture drink water? seriously. Do not take that picture seriously. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, drink water. Okay. It's not important. Leave it alone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then just take pill. Take pill. Oh my god, there's sound. Whoa. You okay. Swallow the tablet after... Oh, sorry, that's your job. Oh, so well, you can read it. It's fine. No, I don't want to. Uh, after a few, okay, go for it. No, you do it. After a few seconds, the room begins to calm down and behave in an orderly manner. Your terrible headache goes. Yay! Uh, take all. Take all. Bam! Telephone. You pick up the receiver. A moment later, the dialing tone is suddenly cut off. Glancing through the window, you can't help but notice the large old oak tree of which you are particularly fond of crashing down through the phone cable. Oh. Flathead screwdriver taken. Toothbrush. As you pick up the toothbrush, uh, as, you, as you pick up the toothbrush, a tree outside the window collapses. There's no ca causal relationship between these two events. Shouldn't you be taking more interest in events in the world around you while you've got it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there, there's some stuff happening outside. Should we seems. brush our teeth? I think that's kind of important. Brush oh, teeth with the toothbrush. Congratulations on your fine okay, dental hygiene. I just, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, that's important to take mm -hmm. care of. Um, all right. That'll be important in like there, 30 there might years be, when your teeth are going bad. Mm -hmm, so yeah. it's important to take care of Let's this leave stuff the now. room. Well, I was going to say there might be stuff under the bed. Check under the bed. Check under bed. 
It doesn't know check. Uh, Guys, did look, you learn nothing from five under minutes bed. ago? Under bud. Under bed. There's nothing there. Well, there are a few sold handkerchiefs, a book you thought you'd lost, Ooh. a couple of foreign coins, and something else which can't be fully described in a family game, but nothing you'd actually want. Okay, oh. guys, I feel like we need to speculate on what uh, the something else is. And it's is it- giant dildo. It's probably a giant black dildo. Giant black dildo, is that yeah, what you think? Probably. Are the uh, soiled handkerchiefs, are those sexily soiled? No, he had a cold. He just had a cold? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's so leave. He jerked off a lot. <laughs> Right, so Wally to... had a cold. That's where we're going. Yeah, okay, great. Are you ready to leave the room? Yeah, let's do it. South. You make way down. Oh, this is you, Brian. Please. Oh, yeah, thank you. Front porch. <laughs> this is the enclosed front porch of your home. Your front garden lies to the south, and you can re-enter your home to the north. On the doormat is a pile of junk mail. Mm, okay, uh, let's look. Can we look at mail? There are many pieces of mail. Most are from some computer company called Infocom, which wants you to buy their games. Hidden underneath is an official letter from the local council, dated some two years ago and inexplicably not delivered till now, explaining that a demolition order has been served on your home. The date of demolition is... Today's date. <gasps> I remember this from the movie! There you yeah. go. Okay, uh, so... Well, I guess we've read it, assuming that we... I'm assuming we read that the whole... Do I need to read the letter? I no, mean, that, that's that, that's what it, okay, what it was. Okay, there's no more. Ross, of it. Okay. it just mm -hmm. fucking told you what's no, in know, the letter. Know, Literally, like, that entire paragraph. The contents just, of what you could have just looked at the front, and it could have said demolition notice, and you'd be like, "Oh, that's interesting." Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm. know what's, you know what's fascinating about this new version with with pictures? What's it that? tells us the mass is four. That's pretty useful information. You see that oh, right that's there? important. Yeah, yeah, that's important. Yeah. remember that. Write that down. Mass four. Um. Okay. I'm. I'm fucking. I'm gonna say, uh, go outside. Okay, so that's south. I think. Front of house. You can enter your home to the north. A path leads around it to the northeast and northwest, and a country lane is visible to the south. All that lies between your home and the huge yellow bulldozer, what, bearing down on it is a few yards of mud. <gasps> Mr. Prosser from the local council is standing on the other side of the bulldozer. He seems to be wearing a digital watch. He looks startled to see you emerge and yells at you to get out of the way. The bulldozer rumbles slowly towards your home. Okay, we have to S act quickly. Lie or... down in front of the... Oh, Ross! Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, lie down in front of the bulldozer. You lie down on the path of the advancing bulldozer. Prosser yells at you to, Christ's sakes, move! Now, how did you know to do that, Ross? Because I watched the movie. There you oh, go. Oh, boom. Man. Nice. I just watched it again recently. See, I, I have no way. I don't think anyone would know what to do here if they weren't familiar with the story. Yeah, totally. It's a, it's a weird thing. Yeah. So, um, I'm just going to do a, a solid here, Ross, and just say, wait. Yeah. Time passes. The bulldozer thunders towards you. The ground is shaking beneath you as you lie in the mud. Oh no! Well, just keep waiting. Just wait. He's not gonna kill you. That'd the noise better. of the giant bulldozer is now so violently loud that you can't even hear Prosser yelling to warn you that you could be killed if you don't get the hell out of the way! You just see him gesticulating wildly. Now that Fart. gesticulating, Ross, is a big word. Do you know what mm -hmm. that means? Gesticulating? Like it means... It means what? That people can't see you do that. Is it wiggling? Like, <laughs> to get out of there... Wiggling with what part of your body? You're close. Wiggling. Wiggling. Just say it. No one can see you doing this. Say it. Wiggling. Wiggling. Everything. <laughs> Everything. You're, you're not far off. Barry, All do you right, want to take this one? Um, for, for what? What does gesticulating mean? Uh, gesturing. Yeah, see? Yeah, Wasn't that hard, said, right? Yeah, yeah. Wiggling. yeah. Wiggling. yeah. So I'm gonna say we should enjoy this mud while we're in it. Oh yeah, good idea. Can I take this one? Please. It occurs to you that you've never deliberately lain in any mud before, and that it's actually a pleasant sort of squishy sensation. You let the mud ooze beneath your toes. Between your toes. Betwixt. Betwixt. Your toes. I'm gonna just add, I might add my little flavor oh, to sure. this text occasionally. Please. You may be here for some time, so you might as well make the most of it. With a terrible grinding of gears, the bulldozer comes to an abrupt halt just in front of you. It shakes, shudders, and emits noxious substances all over your rose bed. Prosser is incoherent with rage. Moments later, your friend Ford Prefect arrives. Hey, Ford! He hardly seems to notice your predicament, but keeps glancing nervously at the sky. He says, hello, Arthur, takes a towel from his battered leather satchel, and offers it to you. Thank God. I would always say hello. Say hello. I believe the, the way you do it is, uh, try Ford, comma, hello. But we might need to reverse that. Hello to you too. So the syntax here is you put the character's name. Take towel. Say. Mm. Take. No one, Barry. Barry, you have to read that. Ford glances uncomfortably at the sky. He offers you the towel again. Take, take towel. towel. As you take it, Ford says, "Uh, look, thanks for lending me the towel. Been nice knowing you. Got to go now." He smiles oddly and walks down the country lane. Oh my. Huh. Um. 
Follow. Follow. It's not follow. a word that... Try, try follow forward. Follow See forward? Happens. You can't do that while you're lying down. Stand up, I guess. Ooh, oh. something else is happening here. I think it makes that noise when we get points. I didn't know that this actually had noises in it. Neither did I. Go for it, Brian. Oh, this is me. The bulldozer driver gives a quick chew of his gum and slams in the clutch. The oh, bulldozer no. piles into the side of no, your home. No, Ross, why? Your home collapses in a cloud of dust, and a stray flying brick hits you squarely in the back of the head. You try to think of some suitable last words, but with, with the confusion of the moment and the spinning of your head, you are unable to compose anything pithy and expire in silence. Follow forward. I believe you're dead. You keep out of this. You're dead. An ambulance arrives. What? You're dead. You died. You fucked How up. You keep out of this. Die? You're dead and should be concentrating on developing a good firm rigor mortis. You're put in the ambulance, which drives away. You got hit in the head with a brick, bro. What the fuck? For a dead person, you are talking too much. As the ambulance reaches the mortuary, a fleet of Vogon constructor ships unexpectedly arrives and demolishes the earth to make way for a new hyperspace bypass. We're about to give you your score. Put on your peril sensitive sunglasses now. We got 10 out of 400 points. All right. So we died, Ross. We How died. Did, oh, Barry, we, we died or Ross died? Um, Ross died. You Wait, fucked up, bro. I don't. What? Let's let's just skip through this. Turn on light. Yep. Whoop. Let's is get Kev back to is that Kevin same jumping point. ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Kev it'll take me 10 seconds to do this. No, no Kevin, really? jump ahead. No, it's Kevin, okay. jump ahead. Take your mail. Okay, so we're gonna take our mail. Okay. Um. So we just picked up that junk mail, and now we're gonna step back outside. Lie okay. in the mud. Lie in mud. And then let's wait. Wait. And let's wait. Let's wait. And let's wait. Let's wait. All right. So there's Ford offering that towel to us. Take towel. What if we what? didn't? Don't take towel. Let's just wait. Time passes. He glances uncomfortably at the sky. He offers you the towel again. Let's just wait. Let's, let's just, just wait. let's refuse the towel. Ford seems oblivious to your trouble. You want to take that? Sure. That's All right. Hmm. Ford seems Ford seems oblivious to your trouble. So you ask Ford, "What about my home?" He looks startled, then guilty. He starts to say something and stops. He starts to say something else and stops. Suddenly, he seems to see the bulldozer for the first time. Stops starting to say things and starts. He seems to come to a momentous decision, says he has something of earth-shattering importance to tell you, and stresses the importance of a quick drink at the horse and groom. Pointing towards Prosser, you exclaim, but that man wants to knock down my house. Knock my house down. Ford goes off for a quick word with Prosser. From where you're lying, you can't hear what's happening, although they seem deeply engrossed in conversation. Let's keep waiting. Listen. Oh, okay. I'm sure. Listen. You can't hear anything mm -hmm. from here. Great choice. Let's just wait. You want to take this one? Oh, Ford and Prosser stop talking and approach you. Ford says that Prosser has agreed to lie in your place so that the two of you can go off to the pub. Reluctantly, Prosser steps forward and lies down in front of the bulldozer. You stand up. Wait, the guy that's trying to bulldoze my house stands up? Yeah. <laughs> it's delightfully ironic, isn't it, Ross? It's, it's very British. Yeah, okay. Well, then I guess let's follow, follow Ford. It kind of makes you want to just, like, chuckle quietly to yourself while you're reading it, Before doesn't it? Before is right here. Oh, yeah. Huh. Uh, say thank you? Ford, thanks. I don't understand. What are you referring to? Barry, can you try to read that with an sort of alien British accent? I don't understand. What are you referring to? Wow, weird, but that? okay. <laughs> you said alien British. Uh, let's just wait again, huh? Ford urging you to follow hurries towards the country. There, there we go. Now we follow. Okay, follow. Uh, but, 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 wait, what do wait. we have to do first? What do we have to do first? What, uh -oh. Save? Save. Save. Do save. Save. Do what would you like to call your saved game, Ross? Uh... I can't afford- Oh wait, afford... hold on. Sorry, I can't. I can't afford- I can't afford to lose. Thank you. Okay, Very uh, helpful. The you, you, People at home can't see this, but for, uh, Ford- Ross is actually passing the keyboard to Barry so Barry can hit enter. Yeah, no, Ross I- Ross is not hitting enter himself no, for this. I have to do it myself. All right, let's follow Ford. Th In a state of anxiety and confusion, you follow Ford down the lane. Country lane. The road runs from your home to the north towards the village pub to the west. Ford Prefect is here. Come along, Arthur, says Ford impatiently, and enters the pub. Shall we enter the pub, Ross? Is there anything in the, in the lane you would like to do? 
Uh, I'm nervous. Um, yeah, you should be. The Earth is about to fucking. <laughs> okay, blow up, man. Uh, there's a lot on the line. Um, take all. <laughs> take all. I don't see what you're referring to. There's nothing nice to one. take here. Yeah. Okay, go in. Let's go to that pub. West. Pub. The pub is a pleasant and cheerful and if the pub is pleasant and cheerful and full of pleasant and cheerful people who don't know they've got about twelve minutes to live and are therefore having a spot of lunch. Some music is playing on the old jukebox. The exit is east. Ford Prefex is here. There are f- Prefex? Ooh. Oof. Prefect is here. There you go. There's a barman serving at the bar. Behind the bar is a shelf. It's full of the sort of items you find on shelves behind bars and pubs. Ford buys lots of beer and offers half to you. Muscle relaxing, he says, impenetrably. Mm. Mm. Big words. Drink beer. Drink nice choice. Beer. It's very good beer brewed by a small local company. You particularly like its flavor, which is why you woke up feeling so wretched this morning. You were here at somebody's birthday party here in the pub last night. You begin to relax and enjoy yourself, so when Ford mentions that he's from a small planet in the vicinity of Beetlejuice, not mm-hmm. from Guildford, as he usually claims. Uh, whoa, 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 Barry. Did I How did you pronounce that word? Guildford. Guildford. Yeah. Guild, the D is silent? The D is silent. I'm sorry, You're everyone in from England, England. now, asshole. I'm, I, I'm out of my element. It's like when people go Guildford. Like Brisbane. Brisbane. Or, Guildford. Melbourne. Guildford. 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 As he usually claims, you take it in your stride and say, oh, yes, which part? What? Just what did he keep say? just nothing, Ross. Just don't you, pay you attention. Drink some what beer, do you want And he's like, I'm from Beetlejuice, not Guilford. Oh. And then I said, Oh yes, which part? Yeah, because yeah. you're 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 drinking beer. You're making you're... conversation um, in the pub with your bro. I'll be like This is just like classic s- bro conversation. Say, are you an alien? Ford. Are you an alien? That's actually a good question. Except that he I don't know explicitly the answered it by saying he was from Beetlejuice. Well, yeah. I mean uh Let me think about this. Uh what are, are you doing in a pub, Ross? Drink again. Oh, what? Drink beer. It's really very pleasant stuff with a very good dry nutty flavor, nutty. some light froth on top, and a deep color. It is exactly at room temperature. You reflect that the world cannot be all bad when there are such pleasures in it. Ford mentions that the world is going to end in about 12 minutes. Now, this is also an interesting thing to note about the differences between UK and American life. Beer in UK pubs? Not served cold. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I like. I like cold beer. Yeah, that's like because uh, you're kind of a provincial American. It's it's adorable mm-hmm. how you yeah. like cold beer. You're also Actually, a American. Man. Yeah, but I'm a I'm a world traveler, Barry. Oh. I've I've Me summered. Uh, that's right. We're both world travelers. Whereas I've been um, Barry. All you did was like I've been to you, San Diego. Oh yeah, that's almost like ninety miles south. That's really good for you. Far. Great Comic Con's like another country. <laughs> yeah, well that is that is. True. I've been around the world, man. Yeah. Spent four months in China. Been to Europe. Anyway. I've been to England barely any. Well, it won't matter in 12 minutes. It won't matter in 12 minutes. Uh, Okay, take another drink. Drink beer. There's a distant crash, which Ford explains is nothing to worry about. Probably just your house being knocked out. Ooh. Okay. Drink beer. Uh, Maybe drink that beer. You can hear the muffled noise of your home being demolished, and the taste of the beer sours in your mouth. You get drunk and have a terrific time for 12 minutes, are the life and soul of the pub, tell some really great stories, make everyone laugh a lot, and they all clap you on the back and tell you what a great chap you are, and then the earth gets unexpectedly demolished. Okay, you wake up with a hangover which lasts for all eternity. Uh, bro, <laughs> I think you drank a little too much there. We got 30 points. Doing better. Wow. So let's restore. Hmm. Uh, I can't afford... Space, you missed the space. Thank there. you. I have to actually match everything you write there. Okay, so we're back here. So let's go south. Okay. Uh, um, let's, let's go in. Let's go into the pub. Yeah. Do you? Ro- well, hold on. Let's pause for a moment. Ross, mm. do you know this? The mistake you made. Do you understand how I you drank fucked too up? Much beer. You drank too mm. much beer. Classic mistake. Classic Australian, right? <laughs> <Okay>. Boom. <laughs> I'm surprised you're saying beer, not Foster's. Oh wow, because it's Australian for beer. <laughs> I will slap yeah. you. I that is that is like the coldest you stare you've Ross, ever given. What's your what's your favorite Australian beer? Is it Foster's or O'Doul's? Uh, <laughs> I, here's the thing. I, 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 used, I used to drink a lot of Tui's. Uh, I uh, guess uh, VB is kind of a dirt cheap beer that in Australia. That uh, if VB? I think Australian what, beer, what is VB's? Victoria Bitter. Oh, of course. Uh, I mean, I, I I I I'm not particularly fond of it. It's all right, but it's like it's like the cheapest, like. Beer. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. Every time I went to the pub, it was always the cheapest beer to get. How old do you have to be to drink? In 18. 18. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, do, does anyone care, though? Well, if you're on levers, then the cops kind of like turn a blind eye. If you're on what? Levers. Like, is that... Bar schoolies. 
Is that Australian for vacation? No, like, it's, you say, it's when you graduate. It's like when you're school. on schoolies. <clears throat> you're on yeah. summer break. Why is like, everyone on leave really now? So cute. Fucking mozzies and schoolies. And what, 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 wait, why is everyone saying? ganging up on me? I don't know. Is, is I'm not schoolies getting... school vacation? No, schoolies is when you graduate is, high school. Are you, school are you referring goes... to uh, Schoolie D, the rapper? No, it's when everyone graduates high school and they go to a like a to wherever as a group like Rotten Nest or they go to fucking like Rotten Nest. Yeah. Where, where's that? Where's the quokkas are? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a stupid question when you when you put it like that. Clearly. Do you know what a quokka is? No. They're really cute animals, right? Kevin, put up a picture of a quokka. Oh, they're so cute. Look at a baby quokka. Now do a baby yeah. quokka. Oh, no. <laughs> well, look at it. What's a quokka? <laughs> they are small marsupials, and the originally rotten nest, which is off the coast of Perth, Western Australia, was referred to as rat's nest because they thought they were giant rats. Uh -huh. But they're, they're actually so cute. They're these adorable marsupials that look like uh, they look like giant wombats that hop around like kangaroos with rat tails, and they're adorable. And, and they're always smiling. And so it's like part wombat, part kangaroo, part yeah. rat. But they're yeah. just little fuzzy balls. But they, they, they're not afraid of people because they all exist on this little island, so people mm. can just go hug them. and They're not supposed to, but people do. Mm. They really and sometimes they hug sometimes they find beer bottles on the ground and they drink a little bit of the beer and they get drunk and, and then they die. Sun. No, that'd be like, hilarious they if just, they died. No, that's sad. Have you ever seen the video of animals drunk? Yeah, they have. There's like this tree somewhere in Africa and like the fruit falls and it ferments and then the animals eat it and then they get drunk oh. from the fermented fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like elephants, just like. Uh, Hold on, guys. I'm just gonna pull that up on YouTube. On my okay, phone fine. Right now. Anyway, we're in the pub. How many beers have I drunk? Zero. Okay, drink beer. Drink beer. All right, same text as before. Uh, was it drink beer? Drink beer. The world's going to end in 12 minutes. Uh, was it four I drank before? You drank four beers. Well, let's do one more. All right, drink beer. All right, your house is being knocked down. Uh, Should we go inspect that house getting knocked down? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, dang. Oh, that music. Ah. Uh, it's an no. ad. Hold on, it's the, it's the ad. I'm Turn skipping off the it. Sound. We're gonna get an audio. We're gonna get a fucking content ID uh, match. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, that's that's animals got gotcha. drunk. He found it. Cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna turn off the sound. Country lane, you see the huge bulldozer heaving itself among the cloud of brick dust, which is all that remains of your home. Guys, this video is fucking hilarious. I know, right? As you start up the lane, a small dog runs up to you, yapping. Look, they're rhinos. <laughs> they're really drunk. <laughs> Oh, Come on, guys. monkeys! What? <laughs> Ross, your house was just destroyed. Oh, and there's sorry. a small dog running up to you. We're yapping. in the middle of something. Um, okay, uh, yell. Yell. You begin to get a sore throat. Cry. Cry. I don't know the word cry. Oh, that's sad. How can you mm -hmm. express yourself? Wow, you must be a tough guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know the word. You know, if you keep all those emotions inside, Barry, it's really bad for you in the long run. That's, that's you uh, have to be able to cry. Me, this is Strong men do I cry. You were there. Breathe. Barry, yeah. Take a deep breath. Take a... Well, it's going to think you're trying to pick it up. What? Take. Should I breathe? I don't know the word breathe. Um, so there's a bulldozer and a cloud of brick dust and a dog. Say... There's Pat, something we Pat should dog. just just note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, note the dog for a moment. Right? Pat dog. The dog tries to bite your hand. The dog carries on yapping for a moment, then gulps uncomfortably. Look mm. up, look up. See nothing special about huh. this guy. Hmm. Uh, look around. Look around. Yep. Yeah. Fort Prefect is here, and there's a dog. We can we can continue on to our house. That might be a good idea since it just take got dog down. Take dog. Can't be serious, Ross. How could you be serious about you can't that? Can't take a dog. It's not yours to take. Okay. That dog is an independent entity, Ross. It's okay. not yours. Do you want okay. to go back home? Go house. Let's go. Let's That's go house. Amazingly insensitive of you to try to take another being. You reach the site of what was your home. It is now a pile of rubble. Mr. Prosser looks sheepishly triumphant, a trick few people can do, as it requires a lot of technically complex deltoid muscle work. Mm. Front of house. Isn't that your shoulders? The deltoids? Yeah, well, like the backs. Where are deltoid? The backs, yeah. Yeah, back, like, How does blades? looking sheepishly, sheepishly triumphant, triumphant. It's like, yay, but back. also like, he's like this. Oh, oh I see what you mean. Deltoids oh, maybe going back. I would think it would be more of a facial forward. thing, you know? Mm. It's tough. Uh, Mr. Prosser from the local council is standing on the other side of the bulldozer. He seems to be wearing a digital watch. Mm. Uh, we can ask him about the digital. Yeah, ask him the time. Ask Prosser. Prosser, comma. The time. Yeah. Uh, remember, Barry, do you remember this detailed comma. discussion we had about syntax? No, 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 no. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I get, oh, look. What I, was that about syntax? I was, I was, shame, I was shamefully wrong. You were shamefully and, uh, wrong and it, horribly ignorant as to the way of Infocom. You know what? I, did you actually grow up in the 80s, man? I did, but the syntax was different at the time. Prosser but you know what? I have to, I have watch. to. Barry, shut up. 
I have this to. Me, it's Prosser. I have to give a public apology for how I treated you just now. So I apologize that I spoke rudely to you, okay. even though I was correct thirty and, years until ago. Until proven incorrect. Until I, 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 well, I, I would have been, accepted, I would have been right thirty years ago. That's just, important just to note. Quit while you're behind. But no, 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 no. I'm not done. I'm not done. I do apologize for my actions, even okay. though they were totally and completely justified. Okay. But if they have in any way marred our friendship or whatever you think whatever this is. Whatever casual acquaintance Yeah, this that's is. right. Yeah. I do apologize. Well, apology accepted, sir. Thank you. I'm you also here. Let's shake on okay. it. Okay. Hey, Ross. Um, Prosser shakes a digital watch. Hasn't worked for months. I keep wearing it only because I think digital watches are neat. Huh. Classic Douglas Adams joke. Yeah. Because hmm. back in the 80s, digital watches were all the rage. Okay. They were a pretty neat idea to quote Hitchhiker's <laughs> Guide to the Galaxy. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... This is compelling so viewing. We can't really put our house back together. No. Take all. Take all. Is that your go-to? I don't see what you're referring to. Brian, would you please? Yes, I would. With a noise like a cross between Led Zeppelin's farewell concert and the eruption of Krakatoa, a huge fleet of Vogon constructor ships flies overhead and announces that the Earth will be demolished to make way for a new hyperspace bypass in, quote, two of your Earth minutes. In all the turmoil, you drop the thing your aunt gave you, which you don't know what it is, and it rolls away. It is the least of your worries. Anyway, you've been trying to get rid of it for years. So we're about to be blown to bits yeah, in two minutes, right? a bunch of Vogon assholes. Uh, talk, uh, talk, talk to Ford. Uh, ask Ford. Ask Ford. For help? For help. I don't see what you're referring to. Uh, oh, no, that was the... Used help in the way I don't understand. Can you try Ford, comma, help? Ford. Hlep. Can't hear you above the noise. Oh. There's a oh, lot of noise going grab, on. Grab, grab him. Grab Ford. You can't be serious. The vast yellow ships thunder across the no, sky, no, 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 spreading. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, I just don't want to die. <laughs> You're about to. <laughs> yeah. Spreading waves of terror and panic in their wake. The voice of the Vogon captain slams across the country, insisting that the planning charts and demolition orders have been available at the local planning office in Alpha Centauri for 50 years, and it's too late to start making a fuss about it now. Throughout the noise, Ford is shouting at you. He removes a small black device from his satchel, but accidentally drops at your feet. Oh. Ross, what do you do? Pick, pick, uh, pick up black thing. Take device. Take device. Taken. Fierce gales whip across the land, and thunder bangs continuously throughout the air in the wake of the giant ships. Ford fights to reach you, but the wind is too fierce. Further announcements from the Vogon captain make it clear that demolition will begin in just a few seconds. Through the blinding rain, you see lights flickering on the small device. Save. That's a great save. idea. What would you like to call your save game, Ross? Oh, that's going to be really fun to copy over. Yeah. Thank you. Now we have to count the number of A's in that. Yeah, exactly. Great. Oh, you hit enter for me. That's a Wow, good look at you, buddy. You did it. Thank you. Okay. Now what, Ross? Um use device. Use no. device. Mm. Wait, don't we have to sure. Is our friend near us? He's uh, not. Near he has a name, Ross. Yeah, Ford. He's, thank you. He's nearish. Don't worry about him. Use device. Use device. Don't know the word use. Oh. Uh, device. Let's inspect it first. Yeah, inspect maybe maybe device. look at it. Device. Let's look at that device. The electronic sub ether signaling device is shaped like a small fist with an extended thumb. Huh. Now, Ross, what does that remind you of? A dildo. There you go. That, that a boy. Great choice. Various lights along its quote-unquote knuckles are currently blinking wildly, indicating a spaceship in the vicinity. It has two small buttons, a red one labeled Call Engineer, and a green one labeled Hitchhike. It bears a small label which reads, Another fine product of the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation. Affixed to the thumb is a lifetime guarantee. I say we hit Hitchhike. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Press green oh. button. Oh. Whoosh. Hmm. Lights whirl sickeningly around your head. The ground arches away beneath your feet, and every atom of your being is scrambled. An experience you're probably going to have to get used to. You are in dark. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe this is a good time to talk about what we're going to do next, next time, time on, on Steam Train. Train. Beep, cheep, cheep, cheep. Stop leaving me in the dark, guys. <laughs> oh, there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah. We are one one hundredth of the way through the game. Oh uh, well, we have what thirty points out of four hundred. I don't know how many do we have now. 
30 points. I don't know. How many do we have now? Oh, 25 points. Oh, Barry, how about that? Who's right now? I was looking at awards. Looks like this guy. Okay, sorry. This is... Bup! Uh... Bup! Spike! Okay. 